we could where you could see that. So question twenty four says. The question 24 says that if a firm increases output in the short run, now you see the word short run is there and we today have a clear idea about the difference between the short run and the long run. What will happen to its average fixed cost? Now you know that in the short run average fixed cost does exist, but it doesn't exist in the long run of course. And we have seen in the curve that the average fixed cost actually decreases continually. Did we notice that? If not, you can repeat the lesson and you can find, or maybe you could draw it from the table which I gave you. I keep on reminding you so you should attempt it and they, you can have a better idea about the concept. So the average fixed cost will continually decrease. So option A is the correct one. Moving on to the question 25, and 25 questions shows a table where the firm total cost rises with the change in output. There are two columns. We have output and we have total cost. We don't have uh, average fixed, co fixed cost and the variable cost in this, right? But what is the question? That is, what is the average fixed cost of producing 5,000 units? So do we see average fixed cost in the table? No, we don't. But now here is the hint. We know if we just cl closely see the table which we exercised last Friday, that clearly tells us that when your output was zero, your total cost was 100 in that table. As you can closely see that the fixed cost was also 100. Does that mean that when the output is zero, the total cost and the fixed cost both are going to be equal? Yes, truly like that. So if we want to calculate now average fixed cost, so at zero, if the total cost is 20,000, so it means the fixed cost is going to be 20,000. And we know that the 20,000 is going to be the fixed cost at every output produced. Even on 1,000 output, even on 2,000, even on 3,000, even on 4 and 5,000. The total cost will remain 20,000. So what about now if we want to find average fixed cost? What is the formula, dear students? Obviously. Dividing the fixed cost with the total number of output will give us the average fixed cost. So it means at output 5,000, the total cost is 50,000, but the fixed cost is 20,000. And that 20,000, if we divide with 5,000, we get the answer $4. So question 25 will give us option A. That is the correct one. Okay, moving to question 26, which statement about the total cost is correct? Now, total fixed cost, does it fall as output increases? This is correct. It is calculated by adding total cost and variable cost. Is it true? Okay, it is not. But how we can make it true? If we subtract total cost with the variable cost, yes, then we can. Get. Okay, that's just a try, but the option one is or 26 option A is the correct one. Okay, question 27, what is the variable cost to a firm producing bicycles? Okay, now the variable cost is something which changes with the output, A, B, C, D. We have like components parts of the bicycle, we have interest on money borrowed, we have rent of the bicycle factory, and we have the salary of the senior managers. We know that the salaries are the, for the permanent staff. So it's a fixed cost. Rent obviously is very clearly a fixed cost, so it's not going to be the exact option. Interest is the fixed amount which we are paying on the borrowed money from the bank every month or likewise. So we are left with the component parts. So the more bicycles you're producing means that more components will be required to manufacture or make it. So that means that this is going to be the variable cost. I hope that we are Coming up with all understanding it. If you have any question, we have a chat room and then we can have your queries in that. Question 28. We have four curves over here. Which firm has the highest fixed cost? Okay, they are asking for the highest fixed cost. Now you can see we have average total cost. We don't have the average uh, fixed cost 
or the total cost over here we have the average total cost now how to calculate the fixed cost we need to divide with the output and then we need to see what is the output over here so if we just see the diagram over here diagram a it shows that the average total cost is greater at zero but it is gradually falling and then we see that average total cost is in the b diagram it is slightly above the origin and it is increasing upward and we have option c where you see average total cost is the same and average total cost is starting from zero at point t now which one has to be uh, out of this so if we just see the diagram b it shows that the average cost is starting from above this it means that the more output is produced the more average total cost is there and if we increase we add fixed cost in it so this shows that the average fixed cost is at uh, the fixed cost is also high in this way so this is going to be the answer for you last question is 29 cocoa and sugar are used in factory to produce chocolates what is the fixed cost in production of chocolates so rent c option is there for us to understand so that's uh, all about uh, today's worksheet so now in the end i will give you this uh, assignment again reminding you that the table which you did i want you to try at home on a piece of paper take a picture of that and submit me back and please make two diagrams diagram one and two on one you are going to plot three curves of fixed cost variable cost and total cost at the second diagram you can put up average fixed cost average variable cost and average total cost after having these curves done by you you will have an idea how the curves are actually moving and behaving so in our next lesson i will come up with one query if i see that how you diagram uh, you draw the diagrams there is going to be a slight difference while you will be making variable cost and the fixed cost and that is something we will discuss in our next video thank you very much for being here and uh, so all about today about our topic so if you have any question i'll be giving you another call another like two three minutes and then we can have your questions thank you very much